Now what will be the length of different fragments that will be produced by restriction endonucleases? It will depend upon the frequency of occurrence of the particular target sequence. And of course it will also be determined by the GC content of an organism. So, if the organism ka GC content we suppose that it is 50% then we can assume that this may be the particular length of the fragments that will be generated with the digestion of a particular restriction enzyme. If the GC content is 50% then we can say that in case of four base pair sequence there is possibility that it will be present after every 256 base pairs, 4 raised power 4. So in this way, after every 250 base pair, this sequence will be repeated. In case if the target sequence, it is composed of 6 base pairs, then we can say that it, it will be present after every 4096 base pairs. And similarly, agar to target sequence, art base pair pe mushtamil hai, to then we can assume that it will be repeated after every 65,536 base pairs. So if the length of the target sequence will be high or more, then the more lengthy DNA fragments will be generated. This table indicates the average fragment size in base pair that are produced by different restriction enzymes. So here we can take the first example APA1. So it recognizes six base pair sequence. And in case of Arabidopsis, which is a model plant, this sequence can be repeated after every 25,000 base pairs. And in case of E. coli, 15,000 base pairs. And in case of human, 2,000 base pairs. And in case of another enzyme like BAME H1, it can also recognize six base pair target sequence. But in case of Arabidopsis, it can be repeated after every 6,000 base pairs. In case of E. coli, 5,000 base pairs. And in case of human, 5,000 base pairs and so on for other microorganisms. From this discussion, now we have the idea that the fragment length that is generated by different restriction enzyme, it may be different. It not only depends that uh, what is the length of recognition sequence, either it is four base pair, six base pair or even eight base pair. It also depends on the time of incubation with a particular restriction enzyme. Suppose if we have incubated the target DNA with a particular restriction enzyme for longer period of time. So it means that we gave more time for digestion and it will generate smaller DNA fragments. And if we will reduce the incubation period, that is, we allow only partial digestion. The restriction enzyme will not get enough time in case of shorter incubation time. So, the length of fragments that will be generated by partial digestion, they may be longer with the same restriction enzyme. So, the same restriction enzyme, it is producing shorter DNA fragments when the incubation or the digestion time is high or more and larger DNA fragments when the incubation time is low or in case of partial digestion.